here we are, sports fans. It's been, uh, I don't know, three years? How many years has it been? I don't know. A long time, yeah. It's been at least three years, I think. Anyway, this is the uh, 408 that we were working on. We did cam bearings and homed it and fit the pistons and the rings and everything. So we're at the stage now where we want to put the head gaskets on, torque the heads, uh, roll it over. <clears throat> we still have to get the rear cam plug in, which of course you can't do in the stand. You have to do when it's out of the stand. And we'll finish putting the oil pan on and uh, the intake manifold. So, all right, so what do, you, what do you want to do today? We're going to take these heads off. Today we're going to take these, uh, these uh, bolts off and take the heads off. And there's probably going to be a little bit of rust at the top of the block. We'll see when we get the heads off. And torque them. I think there's three steps at least. So it's probably uh, 35 or 40, 60 and 90. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the finished torque is on these. I think it's around... 75 to 80 pounds. I don't know. We'll see. All right, well, we're going to get the camera set up. We'll take these heads off. All right. Uh, now, now, cylinder heads, you torque from the center out. I don't care whose motor it is. Uh, and the reason for that is you, you have to get the head to sit flat in the center and then you progressively move out so that you end up that everything is torqued and it's flat. So we'll start here. I think it's what, 35? I think 35 is the first step. So you set your wrench, which we've already done. You sure it's at 35? Yeah. And you pull it till it clicks. You hear that? Then you go to the next one. cylinder head and we're, we're ready to go. Now we'll repeat the same process on the right head. <clears throat> All right, what do we got going on here? Um, <clears throat> what we're doing now is we, we have a, a dummy lifter here. Um, I don't know if you could see it. Could you see it in there? You got to probably put the camera over there and shine it in here. Near where the dog is. That's it. Now you can see the dummy lifter, which is which is a Ford. Uh, I'm going to pull a push rod right out. Uh, it's a Ford hydraulic roller. And what you do is you take the spring clip out, which is that little wire uh, thing in there, clip, <clears throat> and you put uh, a couple of washers underneath so that you can't push this in. See, so it's solid. See, it don't go in. It's solid. The plunger. Yeah. So then you put this in so the roller lines up on the cam where the flats are, are uh, parallel here like this. So the roller 
now the roller is right on the cam. Right there. Now we don't know what the position is because we don't have a damper, but we're going to rotate it. And you put the two uh, stud deals on here, and then you put the rocker on. And the rocker has a flat spot in here and around and another one over here. But as you could see, for the nut to work right, it's got to be here. This has to be up. So this goes on like so. And that's and then when you get the right clearance, you use the Allen wrench to lock it down. But we'll go through that later. We're just trying to get the right length for the push rod. So that goes on like so. And then... It's the old sports fan. We're trying to optimize the contact point of the roller rocker. Now this, this, it doesn't matter whether it's a roller rocker or a conventional rocker. The, the difference is, of course, the roller reduces the friction because it's going to move a little bit. You want where my fingernail is, you want the pattern in the center of the valve. And the reason for that is that if you have the, the thing at one end or the other, it's going to try and tip the valve or make it go not straight through the center of the guide, which is what, because if you tip, if you start putting pressure on this side or on this side, then you get guide wear. You do not want that. So you, you want to optimize the, uh, the fulcrum here. We're going to go in here, and this is the lock nut. You see it moving? So when you get the length that you want, you you hold this one, which is fixed to the bottom of the push rod here. It goes in the, the dummy lifter, which is solid. So you hold this with a wrench, and then you tighten this to get the length and lock it in place. Then you take this whole shooting match apart, you take the push rod out, and we'll we'll go through that with a with a we have a, a 12 inch uh, caliper. This up go like this, and we're putting the bluing on there. We'll show you that. And the bluing uh, is this stuff here. You could buy it uh, any place that sells uh, machine equipment and machine shop stuff. Put in there. You dab the bluing on there, <clears> and then you put this on. See, then you you know you eyeball your your perspective length of the push rod. Then you turn the motor over two revolutions. Two revolutions will give you uh, the entire uh, four-stroke cycle and it will move the intake valve through its entire range. You know, the maximum lift and then back, back, and that's it. So when he adjusts the push rod, basically the contact patch of the roller is going to move on the stem of this valve and you want it to be kind of dead nuts in the center here so we'll get we'll get all this done and then we'll come back here when we're going to be measuring the right, actual put length the bluing on. and the yeah, yeah and the bluing so okay here we are again now we've been screwing around here for the last 20 minutes but uh, we think we got it pretty close put it on the valve stem like so like that, see? It's got a little blue dot there. Okay, put this back on, like so. And you seat the push rod and you seat that down there. Okay, then you put your little nut on. <clears throat> and you just take this, screw it in by hand, till it just kisses the, the fulcrum here. Now, of course, when you get the right length push rod, then you follow the manufacturer's instructions on a hydraulic lifter. We're going to put the, the lifters in to look just like this, except they have a different tie bar arrangement to keep them from rotating. <clears throat> and usually what you do is you take the clearance of the push rod out, and then you turn this nut one full revolution. That puts the hydraulic lifter in the middle of its travel. But we'll get to that later. Now we want to make sure that we get the right length push rod. Okay, that's it. All right, now we will take 
He'll hold the light and I'll take the nut off. There, you can see the sweep is kind of towards, well, actually that's pretty close. You know what we're going to try? We're going to wipe this off. We're going to shorten the push rod. One revolution. Now you see these are real fine threads. So I, I don't know exactly how much it shortens one revolution. I'm thinking about 25 thousandths, which is uh, about half a millimeter, close to it. All right, here we are again. This is a Sterrett 0 to 12 inch caliper. You see, if you have the shakes so you got an overhang, you'll have the trouble. You want me to hold the push rod? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so it's the same one. 755. So you got 7.7 .7 and then 5. A little bit past the five. We'll call it seven five five. That is the length of your push rod. So then you can take this little uh, locking device here, and that will keep it from moving. So you know what the length is. Now you can order the push rod this length, or see what they have in stock that's maybe within twenty five thousandths, and then you order your push rods. And of course, they they're usually uh, they're usually 80 inch wall, which is a hollow one, because these, of course, lubricate the rocker from the hydraulic lifter. The oil goes through this hole, comes up the top, out the rocker arm, and lubricates the pivot and the valve stem. And that's the deal. So we'll order those push rods in the next yeah. video. We'll be um, putting the push rods in, right. putting the putting rockers the on. Top end, putting the rockers on the intake manifold, and getting it ready to fire up. Yeah, so. So we're going to get an HEI distributor. Just for, and, yeah, getting it going. Uh, and For giggles to get it going, because we're not sure whether we're going to use fuel injection or, or what's going on. Yeah, we'll probably inject it, but not right away. Just to get it running, we're going to keep it simple for now. So, all right, thanks for watching.